Well, if you guys haven't heard yet, the big news today is our Battlefield 5 title has been officially pushed back for its launch date to November instead of October. In a tweet from Battlefield's Twitter page, they gave us the new launch dates, this time for the Standard Edition being for November 20th, the people who pre-ordered Deluxe Edition for November 16th, and then those with EA X Play Trials and Origin Access Premier members are on November 9th. So you have EA Access on the consoles. You get a chance to try out Battlefield 5 before those with the Deluxe and Standard Edition. And from my understanding, all of your gameplay that you earn and unlock will all transfer over when the official launch date comes. So when I first saw the dates that Battlefield posted on their Twitter page. I initially thought they did a typo and they were trying to put October instead of November. And then when I read it closely, I realized no, they had actually extended the date. So, yeah, I can't lie to you guys. My first initial reaction was definitely some disappointment there. I feel like it's not only difficult to see the next Battlefield title, but now to even play it, as it seems like everything keeps being extended or withheld and it's just avoiding us completely. So, I I would be lying to say I am not disappointed, but it's just because I want to experience the next Battlefield title. I enjoy the Battlefield game, and I'm really excited for Battlefield 5. So that is really the main reason behind my disappointment. Fortunately for us, Battlefield posted an article giving us a little bit more information on the reasons behind this launch date extension. They would go on to say that they've been hearing our feedback and that they've been implementing it and we should be seeing some of it show up in the open beta and that they really believe this is going to be an excellent Battlefield game and that is part of the reason why they want to move the launch date further. So, a lot of people I'm sure are going to think this means that the game is broken, and I just want to kind of dispel that myth really quick, as for them to extend the launch date just a month later clearly does not mean the game is broken. If it was extended like six months later, then yes, the game is broken, but that is not the case. The game could easily launch still on October, but it is equivalent to it being a polished vehicle or not right if a vehicle isn't polished you can still drive the vehicle but it's not to its highest quality and you get a sense here that the term should be really used is polished is the game polished or not and this seems to be the intent behind what they're doing here now i will say i would have preferred a little bit more of an explanation on what exactly they are working on i feel like if they're going to extend the launch day there needs to be a little bit more of an explanation in regards to the reasons behind it i think they're playing a little bit with a risk reward here as when the launch of battlefield 5 comes for us if we don't see these improvements off the bat i think that's gonna not really help getting us out of this transition period of real disappointment on seeing battlefield and experiencing the game which is what the advertisements and the extended push date has done to us so i think there's a little bit of risk reward here i still think over time battlefield will show its true colors and it will shine as a very solid game because at the end of the day gameplay is king and that's really all that matters so what does this mean for things like the open beta? Has the open beta been extended to a further launch date as well? Well, not what I'm hearing. I, I guess the open beta is still the same. We should be expecting it for the early access members on September 4th and then for everyone else on September 6th. We don't have an actual end date yet, but the Broken Machine replied to a David Serlin tweet where he said, maybe extend the beta too. And David Serlin replied and said, this guy gets it. So seems like we could be seeing an open beta extension i first thought when i saw this that maybe they might do a alpha one alpha two sort of thing here where we see a beta two that will come out maybe later down the line but then reconsidering how much of a pain it is to get things out for the console sides pc has it much easier I kind of changed my opinion on that. So we might see an extension for this one with the date. So maybe it won't be a week's worth of time, but two weeks. I'll be 
completely surprised if they shut it down after a week's worth and they're able to bring out another open beta later down maybe in October just again because of how much a pain it is for EA Dice to go through the avenues of Microsoft and Sony so we'll see what happens here I hope to see an extension it seems like that but we'll find out here soon enough again guys that is it for you guys today feel free to let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments below but i appreciate you guys being here i am living and i'll catch you guys again later